Get in there. I don't care what you smell. <laughs> That's what she said. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. Guys, I've got a short one for you. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, that, that's, that's what he said. <laughs> oh, sorry. You're going to have to stop watching me. If, if you want if you want these dumb jokes to stop being in your life, you'll have to stop. But that being said, I don't recommend that. I actually recommend, guys, if you if you have a minute, if you just have, want to support the channel for free, please hit that like button. Please, would really appreciate it, or leave a comment, or both, hit that sub button. Really appreciate it, everyone has been amazing. We just skyrocketed past 7,000, we're like 7,030 subs, so like skyrocketed. It's, it's, just a, it's just a low arcing rocket is all. <laughs> all right. All right, let me actually tell you what is going on with this video. I don't want to. I don't want to spend too much time on it. So, what well, what's going on is people place this really bad raid team uh, without a reason. A lot of times, people don't have a greater strategy for it, and I don't. There's no shade being thrown at anyone. We're gonna show some footage here in just a minute of this team, and uh, the fact is. Ray is still being beat by the off meta. Uh, whether or not we've chosen to believe collectively as a, as a community that the off meta is just dead, the the fact is it, it isn't dead. It's just different, and that's not really the point I'm making though. The Ray Ray still dies to the off meta, and so the point has kind of remained. I've I've always been a huge proponent of having a plan. Let's actually get to the be real footage so you can, we can talk about that a little bit all right so th this is something that happened recently on my channel and all right we're facing ray and this is kind of just a garbage ray team uh, right like there we don't have jedi training ray we don't have we don't have the scoundrel team. We don't have like armor. There, there's a lot of different characters that can make Ray a really big hassle and can counter specific counters. L like Sith Eternal can beat all of the ones that I just mentioned, but he's going to struggle against certain builds, especially if he can't bring Watt or armor of his choice. Like you, you need to be able to to choose whichever one. But it, otherwise, this is like all of those teams. But they have a specific purpose. They have a reason for being, so to speak. And in reality, it's they're they're like, like that's good. That's part of a plan. That's a greater part of your defensive plan. And uh, what what happens a lot of times, though, and I'm not saying that this uh, person who I'm facing here uh, with Ray it doesn't have a plan. I'm not saying that they have poor plans. In fact, it's against a very good player. And you guys will see the full footage of this GAC in a few days. But it, this is a this is a very good player. And they, they probably did have a great plan. I, I don't know yet. Well, I'll have to talk to them. But the fact is, I see too many people these days placing this uh, placing this Ray team. Because, you know, like their, the whole, their whole reason for it is... They just want to place, uh, they want to keep Jedi Training Ray as a team, they want to keep the Scoundrels as a team, that whatever. They don't have a reason. They're like, well, maybe Ray will just stop something. And <laughs> all I have to say is, like, just stop it. That, that's not that's not a good reason. Um, if you don't think this Ray is going to stop something, you, this is an entire galactic legend that you can be getting a ton of points for or with on offense, uh, or you can be stopping someone on defense. You need to have a plan with this raid team. Now, I've been known to place this team even this season. Watch as I shoot when he had foresight, dear lord. Silly, foolish Zareth. All right, uh, you need a plan though, guys. You like I've been known to place this team uh, this season even because I know for a fact, or at least I'm pretty sure that my opponent is going to use Sith Eternal on it regardless of what I place, and they're going to use Watt and Armor. And if they do that, then it makes it super easy for me. Like, I can just place garbage with Ray, and they're gonna get decent banners, but the wasted Galactic Legend. And to me, that trade is acceptable. Like that—that's kind of what we're going for right now. Is 
uh, at least for me, uh, if we can trade that, if we can get the guaranteed trade, that's great. But if you're just throwing it in there and hoping that that's the only thing that's going to stop your opponent or something, um, I, I guess I'm just trying to say you should, <laughs> you should go home and rethink your life. You should think about your defensive strategy a little bit here. Because uh, there's a lot of things that can casual be, casually beat Ray these days for good banners, and this just makes it too easy on people. Uh, again, no shade on my opponent here. They ended up placing a really crazy defense, and this is part of their strategy, I believe. So, you know, like I said, no, no shade. Just something I want to admonish everyone. Have a plan. Uh, like, just be... Be considerate, be thoughtful of what, what you're placing and why, because a team like this, uh, you know, is just going to get destroyed. And maybe it won't get great banners, maybe that's what you want. Maybe you want them to get a 53. I don't know, but be thoughtful of what you're going to do. That's all I have to say for you folks today. Have a good day. Have a great week. I love you all. Thank you all for watching. And remember that in all things, Zareth prevails.